Hitler was born in the year 1889, on April 20th, in Austria. His father was a customs official. His mother was Clara Hitler, for whom his son felt deep devotion throughout his life. Hitler's early life was marked by mistreatment from his father and constant moving. Adolf Hitler's education was scarce and self-taught, since he had only minimal formal education. His childhood was spent in Linz, and he later moved to Vienna. He tried and failed twice to enter the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna to be a painter. He was rejected because of his lack of talent. Faced with this rejection, he painted for a living and did other jobs as a snow sleeper and construction worker. When World War I broke out in August 1914, Adolf Hitler was already living in Munich since 1913, and there was a screening to enter the military service, and he voluntarily enlisted his name for the selection in the Bavarian army. He was rejected, and the reason cited was his lack of vigor, but he went ahead and sent a petitioner request to Bavarian King Louis III to be allowed to serve, and then was allowed to join the 16th Bavarian Reserve Infantry Regiment. He was deployed to Belgium in October 1914 after a training period of eight weeks and participated in the First Battle of Ypres. He rendered his services throughout the entire duration of the war and was even hospitalized. He was awarded with the Iron Cross, second class, for his bravery displayed in December 1914 and the Iron Cross first class, which is a rare decorated medal, in August 1918. The war gave him a disruption from his civilian life, and he was very satisfied with the discipline and comradeship virtues which further solidified his heroic virtues of war. This exposure during wartime also reinstated and reinforced his German patriotism. In 1919, Hitler co-founded the National Socialist Workers' Party, which later became known as the Nazi Party. As one of the organizers of the unsuccessful Beer Hall Putsch, in Munich in 1923, which attempted to overthrow the government. He served 13 months in Landsberg Prison, where he dictated his political testament Mein Kampf to his secretary, Rudolf Hess. Following his release in 1924, he worked to build up the Nazi Party, which increased its numbers in the Reichstag from 12 in 1928 to 232 in 1932. In 1933, he was elected chancellor and by means of devious political intrigue acquired dictatorial powers for an initial period of four years. On the death of Hindenburg in 1934, he combined the offices of president and chancellor to become leader. By then, he had acquired considerable support from right-wing industrialists and bankers throughout Germany. Over the next few years, Hitler embarked on a massive program of rearmament at home. He destroyed German democracy by murdering his political rivals, 
introduced a fanatical anti-Semitic policy, and whipped up emotional support for his regime through elaborate propaganda and mass meetings at which he and his audiences attained a degree of hysteria that now make old film clips of these events appear comic. In a series of military moves on the way to world domination, he reoccupied the Rhineland 1936, established the Rome-Berlin Axis 1936, and annexed Austria 1938, Sudetenland 1938, and Czechoslovakia 1939, a non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union 1939, negotiated by his foreign minister Ribbentrop, enabled him to invade Poland in 1939. This brought Germany into a state of war with Britain and France. France soon fell, 1940, and the rest of continental Europe succumbed to his jackbooted troops. However, when he attempted to invade the Soviet Union, 1941, he was forced to retreat after disastrous losses at Stalingrad in 1943. As the tide of the war turned against him, so did factions in Germany. He survived an assassination attempt in 1944, but in the final days of the war, with British, US, and Soviet armies advancing on Berlin, he committed suicide, 1945, in his bunker, shortly after marrying his mistress, Eva Braun. Ironically, Hitler's failure to achieve world domination can be attributed in part to his fanatical anti-Semitism, which caused his Jewish physicists to flee to Britain and the USA, where they created the atomic weapons that would have enabled him to succeed. In the end, he and his followers brought about the most devastating war in the history of man, the genocide of 6 million people, and the disgrace and humiliation of Germany.